is very exciting for us actually because it's coming back to Birmingham with us. So as soon as the show's finished, it'll be uplifted off to Birmingham. And the beauty of that is we can actually start doing work more so with our customers. So if we've got problem areas, we can do some development work. Plus there's the development work of cutting tools that we currently work with. Uh, sometimes we get problems and sometimes we have to do the geometrical changes and now we can actually showcase it and prove it on our own machine. We're here at Mac 2022. I, I'm on the going stand with, with Dave. Dave, what, what are you showing on this grub? Uh, well, today we're showing off a deep hole drill. It's an RT100T. Uh, the tool in question is a 30 times D, which is part of a family. Uh, the shortest we do is 15 times D. The longest is 40 times D. 40 times D is absolutely ridiculous length for, for a drill. Yep. What diameter is it and what length is, is this one? Well, the one we're actually running today is diameter 10, um, but that's not only part of the range. The smallest we do is diameter 3. And on this particular length, we go up to a, di um, a diameter of 10 millimeters. What are the problems associated with trying to drill holes as deep as this? Well, what we're trying to do is actually sort of produce the hole as quick as possible. Gun drilling is synonymous with uh, drilling gun barrels with steel bodies, which are very, very accurate, but they're not particularly quick. What we have here is a steel, uh, sorry, a solid carbide tool where we can actually run the feeds much, much higher, up to 10 times the feed rate that you would with a conventional gun drill. Is that because originally, can you explain what the construction of the original gun drill would have been before and how you've improved on that? Yeah, the original gun drill was, has a steel body with a carbide head. Now, for future developments have actually gone to solid carbide, but those in the beginning were just a carbide head. So, of course, you have to be careful because with deep holes, the steel of the body can actually flex. So there's a, there is a strategy we have to follow, but with solid carbide, we don't have that problem. Because it's a much stiffer material, but... I guess it's a little bit more expensive, but the, the productivity yep. gains outweigh that. Well, this, this is key. Uh, Price-wise, if you're comparing the two, the solid carbide, of course, is more expensive. But it's a tool which is designed for high production, so uh, automotive use it um, for their crankshaft drilling. Uh, but the, the main advantage is the high feed rate so we can run it. And I've seen it. You can see the video. I mean, you, you've probably seen some of the video right now of it cutting. But why have you chosen a grub for showing off this, this obviously very impressive operation? Well, it's a lovely machine. It's a very powerful machine. And, and there's always a race between the tool and the machine builder. Uh, very often the tool exceeds the capability of the machine and vice versa. The grub is at a very high level and it helps us show off and demonstrate our tools to the full. Exactly. Most of the, it's a very good point that the machine tools will be limiting actually as the, car, the machine will go before the carbide does. Yep, yep. Uh, as I say, it's usually a race between the two. Uh, the machine can go slightly above there, the tool, and vice versa. So, but at the moment, this is a beautiful piece of kit, and it really just demonstrates what the, our tools are capable of. And actually, I've been told this particular G550 from Grob, yeah. that's good. where's this going after Mac? Well, it's, it's very exciting for us, actually, because it's coming back to Birmingham with us. So as soon as the show's finished, it'll be uplifted off to Birmingham. And the beauty of that is we can actually start doing work more so with our customers. So if we've got problem areas, we can do some development work. Plus there's the development work of cutting tools that we currently work with. Uh, sometimes we get problems and sometimes we have to do the geometrical changes and now we can actually showcase it and prove it on our own machine. So if you want to get involved, try and make use of this very new machine, obviously it's looking a bit too new to me. It needs to get used, I think. Well, yeah. yeah. Get in touch with Dave, get in touch with uh, any of the sales managers at Guring to try and get some use on this scrub machine and also to find out about the gun drilling and all the other fantastic carbide solutions Guring offer.